Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with the channel, you'll know that I tend to bounce around a little bit with my content. Uh, sometimes you'll see tractor stuff, sometimes you'll see car and truck stuff. Um, today we're going to switch gears again to a new project I have here in the shop, and that is these two traffic lights. I've always thought it would be kind of neat to have a traffic light in my garage. So um, over the last couple of years, I've been you know just looking here and there to see if I could find one that I wanted, and I just haven't been able to make a deal. But uh, a couple of weeks ago, these ones popped up for sale, and I was able to pick them up for a good price. All right, so a little bit of a brief history on these traffic lights. These were made by the 3M company. I'm sure most, if not all of you, are familiar with 3M. They make a wide range of products, and, and they had a division that was dedicated to traffic lights. This particular model is a model M131. They made these from the late 1960s up until about 10 to 15 years ago. These are pretty easy to differentiate from other model and make traffic lights because of the square shape they have and the square lenses and so on. The housings on these have two doors instead of a traditional single door that you might see on other models. Um, and the doors access two different parts of the housing. The rear door, whenever you open them up, gives you access to the light bulb and the other circuitry that's part of that. I like the way this is designed because the way this is set up, you can open the door on this light while it's still powered up. And whenever the door is open, the power is disconnected to the light bulb circuitry. And that would allow maintenance personnel to be able to change a bulb on this, on this traffic light without the power being shut off. The front door gives you access to the lens and then additional wiring for the traffic light. One of the other features that these lights were known for was the ability to, they called it program the visibility of the light. And what that meant was that you could, by use of some sort of special tape, you could actually limit the visibility of the light down to a single lane. I did power the first one up after I put some bulbs in it from the other one, and all three lights worked fine, but I did run into a problem. I was cleaning the lenses on the front of it while it was plugged in, and I actually felt a little bit of a tingle when I was thought to myself, that felt like an electrical shock. So I got my meter out and I checked the, uh, the, the voltage from the body of the light to the neutral uh, wiring connection and found that there was about 40 volts on the body of the light. Like I said earlier, you can, you can take the, the, open the door on the back and that disconnects the circuit on the door and the bulb for each housing as you do that. So what I did to start troubleshooting that was I opened each door, plugged the, plugged the light back in, checked the voltage on the housing. And there was no change across all three housings, so I know the problem isn't in here inside the housing where you know wire or something shorting to the to the door. So my suspicion now is that there's a wire that you know runs into the up, up, up through the bottom of the housing or somewhere that's that's chafed and making contact with the housing. So in one of my next videos on this, I'm gonna go through troubleshooting and fixing that. Once I get that figured out, then I'll. Um, come up with a plan as far as what I want to do with the sequencer. If I want to keep both lights, sequence them both together, or if I just want to go to a single light and sequence it by itself. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for the next few videos where I go through troubleshooting and uh, getting these lights up to speed. Um, if you haven't already, please click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up on the video if you liked it. Thanks a lot.